Hello, this is Andy from Alter Reality. Sage 1.5 and 1.4 have added many new features since the last Sage tutorial. This video is intended to give a quick overview of the new features in both Sage 1.4 and 1.5. The major new feature that was added is the graph hierarchy and tree view as you can see here on the left side. It shows how each graph is nested inside of each other. So now you can place a state machine inside another state machine, a blend graph inside another blend graph, a state machine inside a blend graph, and so on. This gives you complete flexibility to define how your graphs blend with each other. So for example, shown here I have a walk and a run state machine inside the move blend graph that blends between the two. If you look at either of those state machines, they each have a move forward and a move backward blend graph that it switches between based on direction. This makes it a lot easier to manage substates inside of a blend graph. Also, to switch to any graph, just click on it in the tree view. This will then display that graph in the editing pane and show its graph properties below the tree view. As well as the graph hierarchy, many new nodes have been added to Sage. Two new nodes have been added to state machines. The first is the state machine node, which adds a nested state machine that can be used as a state in the graph. The second is the parallel state machine node. This adds a nested parallel state machine to the graph. This state machine will always be active when its parent is active and blend in and out with its parent state machine. Three new nodes have been added to blend graphs. The first is the direction node. This node simplifies blending between direction animations, such as walking forward, left, back, and right. Just connect a direction input variable as shown here, and then connect the outputs to the proper direction animations or nested graphs. It will automatically blend between the directions, ignoring the ones that are not connected to anything. The second is the blend graph node. This node adds a nested blend graph that can be blended in and out. The third is the state machine node. This adds a nested state machine that can be blended in and out. The last feature worth noting is the addition of the sync anims option on the blend graph shown here. This is similar to the unity function animation.sync layer. It will make it so all animations in the blend graph or nested graphs are synced so that they always play at the same rate and are at the same normalized time in their animations. This enables movement animations of different speeds to blend properly together. And that's all the major features in Sage 1.4 and 1.5. If you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to post on our forums at forums.alteredr.com or you can reach me at alteredrealityent at yahoo.com. Thank you.